The first thing I'm going to show you is a change between age three and five, as kids learn to understand that somebody else can have beliefs that are different from their own. So I'm going to show you a five-year-old who's getting a standard kind of puzzle that we call the false belief task. This is the first pirate. His name is Ivan. And you know what pirates really like? What? Pirates really like cheese sandwiches. Cheese? I love cheese. Yeah. So Ivan has his cheese sandwich and he says, yum, 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 yum. I really love cheese sandwiches. And Ivan puts his sandwich over here on top of the pirate chest. And Ivan says, you know what? I need a drink with my lunch. And so Ivan goes to get a drink. And while Ivan is away, the wind comes. And it blows the sandwich down onto the grass. And now, here comes the other pirate. This pirate is called Joshua. See? And Joshua also really loves cheese sandwich. So Joshua has a cheese sandwich. And he says, yum, 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 yum. I love cheese sandwiches. And he puts his cheese sandwich over here on top of the pirate chest. So that one is his. That one's Joshua's. Then, that's right. And then his went on the ground. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, So he won't know which one is his. Oh, so now Joshua goes off to get a drink. So Ivan comes back and he says, I want my cheese sandwich. So which one do you think Ivan's going to take? I think he was going to take that one. Yeah, you think he's going to take that one? All right, let's see. I told you. Oh, that. yeah, you were right. He took that one. So that's a five-year-old who clearly understands that other people can have false beliefs and what the consequences are for their actions. Now I'm going to show you a three-year-old who got the same puzzle. And Ivan says, I want my cheese sandwich. Which sandwich is he going to take? Do you think he's going to take that one? Let's see what happens. Let's see what he does. Here comes Ivan, and he says, I want my cheese sandwich. And he takes this one. Uh-oh. Why'd he take that one? His was on the grass. Uh-huh. So the three-year-old does two things differently. First, he predicts Ivan will take the sandwich that's really his. And second, when he sees Ivan taking the sandwich where he left his, where we would say he's taking that one because he thinks it's his, the three-year-old comes up with another explanation. He's not taking his own sandwich because he doesn't want it because now it's dirty on the ground. So that's why he's taking the other sandwich. Now, of course, development doesn't end at five. And we can see the continuation of this process of learning to think about other people's thoughts by upping the ante and asking children now not for an action prediction, but for a moral judgment. So first, I'm going to show you the three-year-old again. Now, is Ivan being mean and naughty for taking Joshua's sandwich? Yeah. Yeah. Should Ivan get in trouble for taking Joshua's sandwich? Yeah. yeah. So it's maybe not surprising he thinks it was mean of Ivan to take the Joshua sandwich, since he thinks Ivan only took Joshua's sandwich to avoid having to eat his own dirty sandwich. But now I'm going to show you the five-year-old. Remember, the five-year-old completely understood why Ivan took Joshua's sandwich. Was Ivan being mean and naughty for taking Joshua's sandwich? Uh, yeah. Yeah? And so it's not until age seven that we get what looks more like an adult response. Should Ivan get in trouble for taking Joshua's sandwich? No, because the wind should get in trouble. He says the wind should get in trouble for switching the sandwiches.